Hello pumpkins, welcome back to part two of my Halloween decor mega haul. Couple of updates from the first video. As you can see, this jack o lantern is working great. I plugged it in to make sure after the little mug fiasco, which you can go back and watch that video if you haven't see what happened. Actually, no, I'm about to tell you. You should still go watch the video, but the second update is about the mug and it is a loose connection. So I'm gonna see if I can fix it. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet, but I'm gonna attempt it because I can get it to work. It's just like you have to fiddle with the little wires and stuff and I'm not that handy, but I'm gonna give it a shot. We'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, my name is Aaliyah and welcome to the House Beyond the Hedge. Okay, in Halloween decor mega haul part two, whatever, this video, we are going to be doing Joanne. And also I got a couple of things from Goodwill. So I'll just show you those as well. It's just a few little things, but we'll add those into this video. But I have a decent amount of stuff from Joanne. So we're gonna go through that first. I think Joanne got me this year because the first time I went there, they had quite a bit of Halloween stuff out, a decent amount, but like I literally didn't buy anything except some candy and these little boxes, which I will show you. And I was like, awesome, Joanne's not doing it for me this year. I'm not gonna spend a bunch of money there. Awesome, perfect. But then I went back a few weeks later and they had put out a whole new collection that was really witchy. They had some really cool new stuff out and I was like, all right, Joanne, you got me, you got me. Because then I ended up buying things. So I didn't get away with spending as little money as I thought that I was going to, but I really, really liked the things I got. And I was trying to be pretty choosy still about what I bought. Everything there is so expensive, but it was on sale like 50% off or something. I'm honestly not even going to read you the prices because the prices on the items is like not how much you would pay for it at all. I think most stores are having 40, 50, et cetera, percent off sale right now. So if you're interested in any of these, just go check it out go look at your store and see whatever the price is gonna be for you. But just know that even though Joanne's is expensive, all the stuff is on sale right now, the Halloween stuff. So you can get it for at least not as bad. Okay, so let's start with a pillow. One of the things I mentioned on a previous Halloween haul video was how Joanne's pillows are really expensive, I think, and they are super expensive. I am gonna tell you how much this, this pillow is. This is not how much I paid for it because I had coupons on top of the discount. So I paid way less, but I just want you to know that this pillow was $49.99, which is insane for a pillow. It is a really cute pillow, but $50? Come on, Joanne, <laughs> what are you doing? But I did not pay anywhere close to that amount because that is just an unhinged amount for a pillow. Do not pay $50 for this, but I couldn't resist. It's so cute. Oh, there's a little thread here. I need to fix that. But they had a lot of really cute pillows. I limited myself to just one because once again, even though they were very on sale and I had a coupon, et cetera, it's still, you know, it adds up. So one pillow only, but this is the one I went for partly because I think this is going to be an all year round pillow for me. A lot of the others were more Halloween vibes. And I was just like, if I get this one, I will use it more. I can leave it out all year round. Uh, maybe in the bedroom or we'll see where it's going to go. But isn't that pretty? It's a velvet and then it has this, I forget what this is called. There's a name for this sort of like reverse velvet, like burnout or whatever. Uh, I don't know if that's what it's called, but if it is, that's what this is. If not, let me know down in the comments what that's called. But right? It's so cute and I love bats. So had to get it. I am gonna try to maybe not go back to Joanne's anymore this season because I don't think there's anything else there that I'm like, haven't seen that could be there that I really want, but there is stuff that I still want. So if I just don't go, then maybe I just won't buy more things, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. All right, so up next, I think you've probably seen these before. If you watch Halloween decor hunting or haul videos, these were really popular this year at Joanne and it's the little velvet pumpkin. I just got one. Actually, this was literally the only one they had. <laughs> so I know that the collection has two different faces, I think, on the orange ones. And then there's a black one, maybe. I can't remember. But there were multiple ones. This single pumpkin was the only one they had left when I was there. So I was like, all right, I guess I'll get it. But once again, if you watch my last video, you'll know that I got this because it has a little creepier of a face, not as jolly. 
and I like that. And it is this like really nice velvet. It is like a lightweight one. It's not ceramic or anything, which is kind of nice to have some like that because you can really put them anywhere. You don't have to worry about the weight or like, I don't have to worry about my cats knocking it off of something. It's not going to break. I just love the little face. It's so, I don't know, like just weird and kooky and a little spooky. And yeah, the color is really pretty. It's actually sort of a darker orange than it's showing up here, but yeah, that's, that's my little guy. So I referenced earlier the boxes that I got. That was for my first trip to Joannesburg. That was like the only thing I got basically. I just got a couple of these little boxes. I really like the ones that I can use all year round. So this just has spiders on it. I really like the stripes inside. Doesn't say happy Halloween or whatever. The other one I got, this does say something on it. it says something wicked this way comes. Once again, it's not Halloween specific and it has bats. Gotta have the bats. And this one's a little bit bigger stripes on the inside as well. And I just use these for all sorts of stuff. You know, in my office, I accumulate things. I separate them out into little boxes so I can keep track of them. I just feel like it's really handy to have some of these laying around for when you might need to put something in a box. So I like to buy the decorative ones. And yeah, so that was my first purchase there. So at Joanne's, they had some jewelry. So I got just some little earrings. There's little cauldrons with like a pretty pale pastel smoke. There's these coffin shaped ones with branches and little bats. And then there's just some studs here, bats, witch hats, and moons. And then I am wearing some of these right now. They're little black cats, which I thought those were really cute. And I feel like you can never have too many earrings. This was a nice little set that had a bunch of different fun ones. And I'll probably wear a lot of these year round as well. So it's not just a Halloween purchase, but I really like those, I don't know, just kind of witchy vibes. And I love the cat ones. Those are my favorites, but I'll definitely wear all of these. There was other sets too of earrings and I'm trying to remember necklaces maybe, but I thought their jewelry was pretty good this year. All right, so the next thing I got was just this little garland. It's a black fake leaf garland with purple lights. And I'm going to put this up, I think in the bedroom, which is like a witchy theme. And I might leave it up after Halloween. I haven't decided yet because it's kind of an all year round vibe. The purple is kind of the color scheme in there. So it's not like a Halloween color scheme, but also I might want to save it just to fancy it up for Halloween. I don't know yet, but we're going to put them up see how it goes. I might give you a tour of that room because it's like after two years of living here is almost complete in terms of like having everything decorated. I just got a new shelf and everything for in there. So once I have this up and I have the shelf in, I might do a video that's like a tour of that, like a forest nature witch bedroom decor scheme. So if you're interested in seeing that, please let me know down in the comments and I will think about filming that as a video. But yeah, just a fun little garland. Please disregard this insane price. That is not how much I paid for it. I paid much, much less than that. I don't think I would pay $34.99 for this, to be honest with you, but I didn't pay that much, so it's fine. I guess I could just kind of take it out here. So, yeah, so it's just leaves and then the little LED lights are just like this style of light. So I'm not gonna unravel it all right now, but I'll probably go put this up in a few minutes. Okay, and then this was the other like really big purchase that I made at Joanne. I'm saying this every time, but definitely did not cost as much as the price tag, but it was still one of the more expensive things I bought. So this was kind of my one like allow myself this big purchase when I was there, but I just think it is so cool. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Like, look at how cool that is. I just love the detail in it, the wax melting down over the skulls. It's just a skull pile. Um, it lights up. Hold on. Hold on. This one does light up because as a tester, always try and get things that have testers so you can make sure they work. See, so the little candles light up there. It's just so spooky and I like how kind of gritty it looks, like dirty. Um, I hate it when spooky Halloween decor is like really clean and perfect looking. It's not the Halloween vibe. I think I'm going to put this out on the front porch. So just maybe right by the door or something. So when people come up to the door and especially at night, it will be lit up. I think that's going to look really cool out there. Otherwise, if I don't put it out there, I might add it into like the sleepy hollow 
themed living room I'm doing because if you've seen Sleepy Hollow, you know there's kind of like a skull pile situation going on in that movie. So I'm really excited about this. I think I'm going to put some of these things out right after I do the videos because I just am excited. I just wanted to get these videos filmed so I can start putting the decorations out. You know, I've kind of been stacking them up in here in preparation for doing this. So I'm excited to put this one outside. Okay. And then last item from Joann's, I think is a line purchase. I feel like you have to have the one impulse purchase from when you're waiting in line and there's like all the stuff that's in the line area. And this was my <laughs> one impulse purchase. It was so silly. But I thought that these would be really fun to wear when I do streams in October. So I stream on Twitch and I don't know, I think it'd be fun to have some little silly dress up things to wear like while I'm doing Twitch streams in October. So uh, that's why I got these. And they're only $4.99 and that was before like the discount or whatever. So it was a pretty easy impulse purchase. Let's see if these work. <laughs> there is a flash mode, but I didn't want to like bust your brains out with that. Uh, so this is the non-flash mode, but there's also a fast flash and like a slower flash. But I just think that's really cute like to wear for streams, you know? Let's just do a little test here of how they look. Oh yeah. Uh, it's gonna be fun playing video games with this. I like can't really, s the center part is so thick. No regrets, no regrets. Okay, so that is everything from Joanne. Okay, actually I lied before. We're actually gonna do Joanne and I have a few more things from Michaels. And then I think I'll do Goodwill in the next video. I don't know, Joanne's and Michaels just go together. I feel like, cause they're both craft stores. <laughs> it doesn't matter, but I had them all in a pile together. So that's what we're gonna do. So I just have a couple of little things from Michaels when I went back a second time to Michaels. I already did a Michaels haul. You can see that video, um, I'll post it down below. I had free credit like at Michaels when you get the rewards and then you basically get free money for have like having spent so much money. So I had like a free 10 or $15 or something. So that was part of the reason that I got these things. One of the things I had actually almost gotten the time before and I regretted not getting it, so I got it and then this thing i was just i had an extra i had extra money so um i got this little bottle it has a little jack-o-lantern topper and it's a washington irving so once again goes with that sleepy hollow theme there was also an Edgar Allan poe bottle and i want to say mary shelley maybe but yeah so they just have like these little author bottles and then the toppers were different based on who the author was but i just like this one with the little jack-o-lantern and obviously Sleepy Hollow. So yeah, just a cute little shelf item to decorate. And then this was the thing that I didn't get the first time I was there and I kind of regretted it. And so when I went back, I was like, I want to get that if they still have it. And it's just this little tiny pillow. I just love that it is so small. Like, look at how little this is compared to my head. But I just really like that it's so petite. It's obviously just decorative, not like a pillow for leaning on but you could really put it anywhere you know or it's perfect like to layer in front of a bigger pillow oh like let's test it okay oops sorry little bottle oh shoot did i just break that no it's fine we're fine so like say you have this on your couch or whatever and then you know like that right love it love it so i was glad they still had this and i snapped it up all right, so that is it for the Joanne and Michaels haul. Like I said, I know I mentioned Goodwill, but I'll do that in the third video. I think we're gonna stop this here so that it doesn't get too long. As always, please let me know which item was your favorite. If you saw something that makes you wanna go back and try to look for that item, that's what happens to me when I watch other people's hauls or Halloween hunting videos is I'm like, oh, I didn't see that. Like, I really like that item. And then I, you know, go back and try and find it. So. Let me know what you think. And also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at House Beyond the Hedge. If you want to follow me on Twitch so you can see these cool ass glasses in action, it's at Trusty Parasol. Um, come check it out. We play cozy games usually on the weekdays. And yeah, that's going to be all for now. But tune in to the next one for the third part of the Mega Haul. There's still some good stuff to see, I promise. So make sure you come back for that video. And always remember to keep the kettle warm because I will see you next time.